Thanks very much. And Jay Anderson, your line is now live. Hey, thanks very much. And Guiji, back in December, I believe you had some uh, issues with your weight cut. And at the time you'd suggested that maybe you wouldn't be fighting at uh, lightweight again. If I'm not mistaken, this is a lightweight bout. What uh, changed your mind in that front? Well, I was, uh, after the, the weighing, after all the situation the, in, the last, uh, in the last fight that didn't happen, I was, uh, I was sure that I wouldn't compete in lightweight division anymore. But, um, uh, you know, I was so confused and I was so, I was so bummed out. I was, I was sad because all those situation, then I take, then I took a, a month off of just thinking about my career, my life. And, and all of a sudden just, I had, I had a, th a thought and I was like, I got to, I got to get the belt of 155. I got to come back for the lightweight division. So it was something from my mind. I don't know. It wasn't, you know, it was just a, a insight that I had, and they told me to to compete in, in the lightweight. Just um, make your last run for 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 lightweight belt, and after that you can move up. But uh, don't give up in in this uh, in this weight class. So, like I said, this is going to be um, my last shot for for the belt. Uh, in the near future, people will see Goichi competing in, in welterweight division, for sure. All right. And, uh, you know, in this one, you've got Dan Moret, who's making his Bellator debut here. So just give us your thoughts on the matchup with him. Well, uh, first of all, uh, I just want to I just want to thank Dan for taking this fight in short notice. Um, massive respect. Um, I, wa I watched some, some, some couple of fights. Of Dan, he's uh, he's a good and tough competitor. Uh, good matchup of a uh, you know of a styles, and I um, I hope to make a great fight. I think uh, this is going to be the best fight in the Friday night for sure. Will. Hey, Gaudi, this is Will from the Fight Gods podcast. I was wondering, you've had quite a run in Bellator where you've racked up a load of wins. You've won three in a row now. Do you think with a win Friday night, it's your time to get a title shot? A hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. I don't, I think I'm on my prime. <laughs> I'm on my prime and um, I, it, that's just the beginning of my prime, you know. I was so, I didn't have the, you know, man's uh, mature couple years ago when I, when I fought Chandler, I thought it could be a champion, but I was lying to myself. He was so a lot of levels above me. So um, that that experience uh, just uh, taught me to to be a little bit more humble and um, think about my my life, my career, and see the reality. I was so immature to get this title, but right now I'm. Um, I think I'm I'm capable of to be a champion. So. Um, I'm um, I'm ready. I'm ready and I'm 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 excited to see what I can do in the Friday night. Tony. Hi Gotti. Hope hope you're well. As as someone who's so close and, and some will say within touching distance of a, a lightweight title shot, does it frustrate you that the title is actually sort of held up at the moment given Patrizio's involvement in the, the featherweight tournament? No, um I have patience. I yeah, but the situation of lightweight division is very confused. Um, Patricio, he 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 got he got the double. He's on the finals now, so we will have to wait a little bit more. But it's okay to me though. It's no no problem. Um, you know, like I said, I have patience. I'm I'm here to to compete with the best guys, and of course, my 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 main goal is to be the champion. But um, I don't. I don't believe Bellator will make um, um, interim belt. So all I can say, I will have patience. I, have patience. I will. I will try to fight the best guys in the division, and I will do my best. Darnell. Hi, this is Darnell with MMA Island. Goiti, how does it feel fighting on the same card as Lyoto Machida? Well, that's great. Lyoto, he's a great fighter. I like him. He's just like me. 
he's uh, half Japanese, half Brazilian. So uh, it's cool. I I saw him in, in the pictures in the photo shoot yesterday. Uh, good guy. Uh, I like him a lot. He's, uh, he's a pleasure for me. Thank you. Max? Hi, I'm Max Morales from MMA Pit. And you've been here for a while. Your last defeat was against Michael Chandler, and you were nearly fighting Patricia Pitbull. Now you're fighting a former UFC fighter. What are you looking to get out of this fight? Uh, my focus now is to, is to win this fight Friday night. Not just a win, but um, a good win. I expect a good win, and after that, I just want to... Uh, I will look for the title. I don't know how it's going to happen, but um, that's all I want. I want the gold. Um, I will face uh, anybody that belts are put in front of me, and I'll, you know, I'll I'll give my best. I'll, I'll keep asking for my for my chance for the title, but I know I got to earn it, and I will. I will earn it, and I will be the the champion pretty soon. Santiago, hi Goiti, thank you for the time. You have two guys in front of you in the lightweight division. Brent Primus and Patrick Pitbull, and both of them are fighting someone unranked next. Are you disappointed that you didn't get a fight with these two guys that are ranked in front of you? Not at all. Um, not at all. I think because I think we will be facing each other pretty soon. So um, I think the next for, you know, for, for all the top three will be facing each other some, somehow some way so um i'm not disappointed at all i think it's gonna happen pretty soon uh hopefully for you know for for it to interim bell or whatever for the next fight fighting for the a tighter shot so um like i said patience and timing that's uh that's what it's all about i'm waiting for my opportunity and um it's gonna happen no rush good luck on fight night sir thank you so much sir Ronald. This is Ronald Smith from Getting Real. Go ahead. Thank you for your, for your time. And just right now, you're about to fight, but the last time we saw you was back in 2019. So just like you, you were in your own world as we all were in 2020. So just to give, just to give a little knowledge of yourself, what, what was your head at during that time period when the whole world was up in a rut in 2020? <laughs> yeah, I think it, it was... It was a hard time, not just for me, but for for anybody else in this world. It's, uh, it was not just hard, but was you know was a time for uh, confused and was different that everything that I, we've been through. So um, it wasn't it wasn't different for me. It was quite a quite a bit hard, <laughs> not just in a professional career, but in my personal life. Uh, I got some health issues, um, like, you know, just like everybody. But uh, I think I could overcome all those, all those problems. And here we are, uh, stronger than ever, bulletproof mentality. Um, Everything is fine right now. And I hope to get this win and prove to, to myself and to everybody that are watching me Friday night that, I'm, that I changed. I'm, I'm a I'm a different different fighter now, so I'm I'm excited to to see that. All right, we have time for one or two more here, Maria. Hi, Goiti, Maria Morales with the Throwing Bows Podcast. How are you today? I'm good, and you? All right, thank you so much. So, yeah. just two quick questions for you. The first one being that your opponent Dan goes by the Hitman, but it's a little deceiving considering that he's racked up seven submission wins at this point in his professional career. Uh, that said, it would feel that he would probably feel very comfortable going to the ground with you. Can you tell me a little bit about what your game plan is uh, as far as the ground game if the fight goes that direction? Well, I'll be prepared and for, for any situation this fight. Uh, I don't have like um, a game plan. I just, uh, I never bring a game plan for, for the fight. It's just, uh, you know, not exactly what I'm going to do in this fight, but I know what, uh, what I have to do. I'm, I think about myself and my abilities in, in my experience, not in what 
the the guys he's going to bring to me. So uh, my strategy is going out there and uh, putting the show, putting my techniques, uh, my my versatility, my my physical strength. So um, I don't think uh, his ground game is going to be a problem. If he wants to go to the ground, I will I will tank him because I love it. <laughs> if he wants to put me with the on the ground, uh, like always I do, I, I pull on the, gro- in the guard and, and start to work. It was always like this, so uh, this time won't be different. I'm, I'm ready for, for fighting, for, for stand-up fighter, for a ground fighter. Um, I'm just ready. Awesome. And then last question for me, you alluded earlier that uh, you feel as though you should be looking at a championship shot in the very near future. If for whatever reason that doesn't present itself sooner rather than later, who would you like to go up against in your next fight? The guys that are above me in the, in the ranks or do you have a preference between between the two? We have uh, Ben Henderson. We have Patrick Pitbull. We have Brent Primus. No, I don't have preference, but um, I think uh, Bellator will match up the best uh, the best fight for me. So I'll be I'm excited to to see what is next. I'll be prepared and ready, whatever. All right, Goiti. Thank you for the time today, and good luck on Friday. Thank you so much. See you Friday night. <laughs> 